of the line. Yeah. And so if you don't have a lot of points, it tends to make it kind of not smooth. So that's why in the first problem I did 100, but it's, it's still fine. It's just if you wanted to look better, you could use more points. But you only have two lines. Where's the third one? Oh, you're working on that. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't look right. <laughs> so I'm not sure what happened. You probably have an error in the equation there. So see if the equation looks exactly like the one I have there. Okay. Yeah. So it should look, let me just show you what it should look like real quick. Should look like these kind of, yeah, yeah. Yep. Saying that I'm doesn't like it. Yeah, it doesn't like me using the star thing here. Or here. No, the inner matrix dimensions must agree. Right. Yeah, I think if you look carefully, you'll see the star before the X has a dot. Oh, yeah, dot is important. Yeah. Try doing this. Okay, so X, let me make sure. Do you have a T vector created? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So let me, I have to look carefully at this. X equals one dot parenthesis one plus one over X. You have an X zero created, right? Yep. Yeah, I would complain about that differently. Then you got a... One plus... I have to admit, I don't know why it's having a problem with that. Uh, how'd you create the vector? Uh, which one? T. Oh. I did... Uh, you can always just scroll if you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it uses... Okay, uh -huh. okay. So I wonder what dimension it doesn't... It doesn't like the... It could not like the R since I didn't know what to do. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Just do it one R at a time. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So create. Yeah. So create an R one R two. Yeah. Right. And then then do R one R two and then calculate an X one X two X three. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yep. So when I did um, so basically when I did plot X, I got one of the curves. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's registering the other two T values. What? What? Oh, I don't know. R values. I mean. Right. Well, first of all, you want to plot. You want to plot t versus x, right? Yeah. Because otherwise, it. So if you just plot x, it's just going to plot x versus the number of the element. So it'll be, right. the scale will be like a hundred or something. Oh. Okay. So do t versus x. So t. Comma x. That. Yeah. Okay. So what happens is that. So that's one. I don't. Know what value of r you use there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did. So for r, I did. Um, I set up, sorry, it's all nice, like that. Is that not the right notation for that? Yeah, well, that. Because I think it only saw two there. Right. So you calculate for r equal to, right. So you really want to do this calculation one r at a time. Mm -hmm. So like create one vector x for the value r equal 0 0.5, create another vector x for it equal to one, and then a third x vector for r equal two, mm -hmm. and then plot those three separately. Okay. Yeah, it get, it's kind of getting confused because you've, well, I mean, the way you've done it, R is a scalar. Yeah. It's just one value, two. Right. Maybe that's not what you wanted it to be, but yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. Um, if you actually want to create it, you could create a vector R like that had all three elements, but it won't like, that equation won't like it. That okay. equation assumes that R is a scalar, a single uh, value. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to get started with the T. Okay. Put put T equals mm -hmm. um, print, uh, bracket. You have a bracket there. Yeah. Okay. Put zero. And then would it be colon? Yeah. Well, colon zero point one. Oh. Uh, colon ten. Why uh, zero point one? That just separates every element by zero point one. So that creates a vector of zero, zero point one, zero point two, zero point three, all the way up to ten. So you'll have a lot of points. When you oh, plot, okay. it'll be nice and smooth. Okay, so now you have that. Now create a value R, or call it R1. R1 equals yeah. 0 0.5, then yeah. R2 is 1, and R3 is 2. Right. Okay. And then when you implement that equation, first of all, use call that R, R1, and call the X, X1, and then put, mm -hmm. put do R2, X2, R3, and that'll give you three values of x, and then you can plot those all versus t. Okay. okay. For each r value, do I need to enter the x 
equals. Uh, yeah, but you can just scroll and then edit. That's okay. what I do. Yeah, it's much easier that way. Because okay. otherwise, you'll make lots of mistakes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks. Are we making progress, people? Yeah. You're running out of time, so. Shouldn't, shouldn't be too challenging, but. <laughs> Is anyone having trouble, Snell? Yeah. You see, and I can't get everything to actually graph. I like define. Are uh, we supposed That's to define individual x1, x2, and x3 values? I like redefine them down here using like it's like x2 equals negative. Hey, we're gonna say, oh, so uh, like is there anything I'm forget, like? You you have a t defined, right? Oh, uh, yeah, t defined. Uh, yeah, t. Uh, I did a way. What did you plot, by the way? When you plotted it? I plotted x1. Oh yeah. See, you wanna you wanna plot. Right, because R is a parameter, but really X is a function of time, right? So you oh, want to so plot T comma X1, T comma X2, oh, T comma X3. Right, thank you very much. Yep. So if you're, if you're stuck, um, so I see someone looking up, but once he's done looking up there, I'm going to, so I showed you what the answer looks like. So it looks um, like this, right? And that, that's, how, that's how I did it, okay? Just, so we'll just go through this and be done. So first thing I did, create a vector t, just like before. So this is going to be a vector that has, a, I guess, 101 elements. They're separated by 0 0.1, you know, like 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, all the way up to 10. I specify the value x0, I specify the value r, which I called r1, I calculate the corresponding x1 that goes with that r1, okay? Once I do this, I'll look at x1 and I'll see it's be 101 elements, one element for each value of t that I created. Then I do the same thing for r2, x2, r3, x3. Then I issue this command that plots all three lines, label it, create a legend, done. Okay, so if, I mean, if something didn't go right, you could just do that real quick. But I want to show you that at first because obviously you would just copy that <laughs> and be done. So if if it didn't, if you had some problem, yeah. I, I did um, zero point one. The first one is there a quick way to change the first value to zero and then have it just go through again, or do I have to enter the props again? Yeah. So if you wanted to change the range of t, you'd have to change t and then recalculate. Yeah. Yeah, but you can use the arrow. You've learned that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't want to retype. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I'll, I mean, I'll hang out here for the next three or four minutes, but if, if you're done and you've had enough MATLAB and you've been successful, you can go if you like. It's up to you. Yeah. What? So So that that basically does the subplot then if you do. Because you know you know you have T and then X1, T, X2. Yeah, that so this command just creates a single plot with all three lines on the same plot. Right. That's different than the subplot command. That creates different little subplots. Okay. So what I want to do is I want in this case I want to plot all three lines on one. Right. Oh, that's not what subplot is. No, subplot looks like. Is that the three? Different? Subplot looks like that. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Plot looks like that, and subplot looks like that. And it knows to go x y x y x y, not like x y z or anything like that. And does that depend on? It knows. It knows what to do because you told it with the plot command. Oh. It always wants you to be. You're going to plot something versus something else. So when you do t x one, it knows you want to plot t versus x one, then t versus x two, and then t versus x three because the order you put the, the command in. Right. Yeah. Okay. If you don't do that right, it won't do the right thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if you would know this, but um, my mouth having the pussy downloading onto my computer. 
don't know if that's something that we would be able to. Oh, you're having. Help me with. So, what do you 